Let's see what it gets. Juno, it's pretty good to pull out. I think that's great. That's a very big combo with So for them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Maybe leader just to stay ahead. Yeah. Oh, it could be Triss now. Because we need more units for this. I think so, yeah. I think it, it's the right play. Yeah. Yo, we're two cards up, man. <laughs> Is it going to be forfeit? They may just forfeit right away if they don't find their cards. Any second. <laughs> Respect, man, they're still playing. Well done. We have a fellow warrior here. You gotta respect that. Real recognize real. We like to see strength in others. Nice man. That's a fantastic counter. So <laughs> Come on, let me finish. I want to play my cards. Hey, what's up, legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. So for today, I have come back around to an old relics deck of mine. Um, I'm pretty sure in the past Triss got nerfed, so I've just developed a similar list with a few um, additional changes to it just to work around this nerf. So the leader ability that we're utilizing with this list is Force of Nature because it does have some Relic Synergy. So with this order, we get to spawn and play this unit you see here. It's a token unit. Keep in mind it's a Relic itself at 9 strength, not bad. So it does give a bit of impact on the board when we play it. Um, as far as our leader goes, obviously we can use it to help synergize with gaining Sabbath, 25 or more points for a number of our Sabbath plays. But I really think it should be safe to be played round two or three. And what we want to do is add this as additional points to work with Triss as well when she does her row boost. Strategy we're utilizing is Crystal Skull, boosting the allied unit by four, giving it fail. This is because we have a number of engines, important units that need protection, stop them from getting locked. So with Crystal Skull, what I like to do is just utilize that onto Self Eater uh, when going first, but you could give it to Witch Apprentice as well. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, 
when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with, we've got Pillar in this list. Uh, as I said, got a number of engines. So Pillar is in here as a way to prevent them from getting locked, or if something gets poisoned, we've got units going tall. We can use Pillar to simply purify unit. It can be used on the opponent's units as well, resilience units or defenders. Keep that in mind. We've got double Archie Spore. This is to help with the consistency of our deck because it's a card which thins, uh, draws out card from our deck the way they work together. So with the Archie Spore, what we want to do is always reserve one of these in deck to be thinned out by the other copy. And it's got a Death Wish ability. So when this card gets consumed, that's how we're going to look to play it here. Or if it dies, summon all copies of this unit from your deck to this row. We want to play Archie Spore as early on as possible in a match. I like to use it round one. And the way we activate Archie Spore, as I said, will be through the use of Brewers. Just use the consume charge. Uh, we have double Lesser Witch. So Lesser Witch, they have good Relic synergy because they're a Relic themselves. And they play best when we play both copies in our deck together because of the bonded value they have. So initially on deploy, spawn a base copy of self in your graveyard. But if we play them together, so if there's one on the if we play one on the board, it'll just play for five. And then if we play the other subsequent copy, spawn a base copy of self on this row instead. So you get some pretty good value for four provision cost unit. And we can definitely use lesser witches together around one just as a cheap and effective way to help get Sabbath, help get round control. Otherwise, just always hold on to one copy until you find the other copy so you can play them together for good value. And then for some control, we've got spores. Allows you to reset the power of unit. So with spores, we're just targeting units with a boost. Other than that, if one of our units with a tall base power gets damaged, you can kind of um, use spores defensively and heal our units as well. We've got Mahakam Ale to combat locks. Because we've got a number of engines, I not only have Pella to combat locks, I also have Mahakam Ale. Allows you to boost the unit by five and remove its lock. So some of these cards, you know, you'll search for them, hold them on you, depending upon the kind of deck you're versing. Uh, I've got double Witch Apprentice in this list. So Witch Apprentice is a really nice engine. It's going to be boosting itself by two at the end of our turn. As long as we have 25 or more points on a row, that's what Sabbath refers to. With all of our bronze copies that you see here, for the most part, we want to commit one lot of copies per round. So you know, round one, you could play Gan, Self Eater, Witch Apprentice, and then round two, do the same kind of a play. So Witch Apprentice is definitely great um, when you've got that condition met for Sabbath, but make sure you play it when this card helps to trigger Sabbath, because if it floats at four power, it could get easily removed by the opponent. So we've got double Gan. Deploy, increase this unit's base power by two for each adjacent relic. So what we're doing is looking to stack Gan between relics. Works pretty good with a self eater. Self eater makes this card consistent. And we can play this round one to help get round control. Play the other later. Double Incubus. Incubus can provide us with a lot of value. So the way this card works is summon a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard to the opposite row. Then summon a bronze unit of equal or less provisions from your graveyard to this row. So the idea of the Incubus is we want to target Witch Apprentice to bring back a good engine again. Gan, bring back Gan at 9 strength isn't bad. Uh, we can also focus on bringing back a Self Eater to have that good strong engine value. Bring back the Self Eater with the highest base power. That was generated in round one so that could really help with the bleed so incubus is nice to use round two or three because of the way it works obviously you could have cards in your graveyard and um just pay attention to what cards your opponent has in their graveyard because that has a lot to do with its ability make sure you're not bringing back good cards for the opponent double self eater we're looking to play one round one definitely so the order is half this unit's base power then spawn a copy with the same base power on this row. So whenever we play a relic, increase this unit's base power by one. Which is, that that's really why we have self-eater in this deck. And 
one of the reasons why we have so many relics is because they have great synergy together playing so many relics this card's bound to get some good value so definitely can use this as an opener with stratagem give protection and then play the rest out round two three so because of the way this card works and because of the nature of our units the categories they have which is relic whenever we have a self eater we always want to open up into the round with this card so we're playing the crones in our deck with weavers this crone on deploy boost an allied unit by two increase this boost by two whenever you play a crone uh then we have brewers zeal order consume an allied unit charge one increase the number of charges by one whenever you play a crone we're looking to use brewess round one to consume archie spore then the other crone that we have wispess over here is the damaging crone so on deploy wispess will damage an enemy unit by two increase this damage by two whenever you play a crone so because of the way the abilities of these cards work to get the best value out of them we always want to sequence that we play brewess first before the other crones as much as possible then the next crone you'd play would most likely be Weavess. And then we can have Wispess for some pretty good control at 6 damage. We can use the boost from Weavess to, you know, maybe heal like She Who Knows or Rat Catcheress if those units were damaged down. Um, just to help with resilience carryover. Um, but as far as these other two crones go, I suggest saving them round 2 or 3. Because they're pretty important cards. Uh, then we got Rat Catcheress. This is kind of like self eater because whenever we play a relic to increase this unit's base power by one so a similar kind of idea of rat catchers is that whenever we're going to commit this card into a round it should be the first card so we're getting good value out of that uh whenever this unit is damaged reduce its base power by one but sabbath cancels the above ability uh i would suggest we play rat catchers round two or three what we want to do round one is play she who knows so she who knows gives resilience to herself and then we want to use her resilience ability to give um that carryover aspect to rat catcheress in round two so then rat catcheress could be at a high base power carried over into round three that's the kind of idea with this card and then we've got royal decree this just gives our deck consistency because it allows you to play a unit from your deck um I went with Decree over Nogglefire because it just ensures that we can go Quacks round one to play She Who Knows out. So I, I really like that consistent play. It can really affect the opponent's deck. Because with Quacks, what happens is we're going to be looking to play this melee row. And when we do this, each player summons the highest provision unit from their deck to the melee row. So this is attacking uh, like the most important card the opponent may have. You may get something like Igni, Yurden uh regis reborn all those kinds of important cards ran free so what we want to do is play quacks as early on in a match as possible i suggest we play this as a final play round one most of the time but something you really have to keep in mind is that because of the way our card works it's summoning the highest provision unit we've actually got two units of the highest provision so if we play quacks and both of, both of these two cards are in our deck it's going to be at random whatever it pulls for us which could be really bad because we don't want quacks to pull this we want to play this with deploy so basically the idea is with quacks we want to play it round one but only if she who knows is in deck and tris media shower is in hand otherwise you, you'll just have to wait on it or play it differently because it can be a really risky play for us uh for control we've got heat wave so with heat wave you get to banish a unit you know, a unit or an artifact you can save this as a tall punish option at the end of the match or target opponents locations um scenarios got mamuna for a high tempo play uh zeal order banish a bronze unit from your graveyard boost off by its power summon a copy of it from your deck to this row on sabbath we get to play the copy i suggest we try to play mamuna for sabbath because we'll have greater synergy with rat catcherus uh also with the self eaters mamuna is nice to use into round two because because of the amount of points it gives us it gets us far ahead of the opponent puts good pressure on and it makes sense to play in round two because it thins the deck out 
and I like to kind of save Mamuna to give us a point slam with Gan in combination with having a lot of self eaters out in round two. But of course, you can pull whatever out. You can pull Incubus, uh, self eater, Witch Apprentice, and at worst, you could go Lesser Witch as well. Then we got Triss Media Shell. We are looking to play this ranged row. Um, but take note to the melee row. Maybe sometimes that comes in handy. But my idea is that we want to play this perhaps round two on the bleed or when we try to 2 0 the opponent. What we're going to be doing is playing this ranged, boosting all allied units on a row by half their base power. This is a really high tempo play. Usually gets us to 2 0 if we've got a lot of relics with good base power um, stacked onto a particular row. So what I suggest is because we're playing Triss, we're going to stack all of our higher base powered units melee row all the time, get into that habit with this deck, and just leave ranged row for Triss to boost our melee. And then to finish, we've got She Who Knows. We're not looking to play She Who Knows from hand. We're looking to have it thinned out through quacks, like I said. But sometimes if you have to do it, just do it. Um, trying to play this out round one. Sabbath at the end of round give resilience to the highest base power unit on your side of the battlefield So it's either gonna be herself or rat catchers. So great card gives us carryover value and Just gives us the ability to bleed more effectively and go for the 2-0 because it's safer with this point carryover aspect of our deck So now that I've covered the list, let me explain our execute strategy for our deck um, We have kind of a greedy list here what you want to do is get round control and just go for the 2-0 against the opponent. If not, definitely drag it into a short round 3. And the way we can do that is round 1, prioritize opening up with our effective engines. Prioritize doing that into any of the rounds really because of how these cards work. So round 1, you're going to play Self Eater as an opener. You can play 1. We can play Archie Spore, Brewess. Uh, we can definitely play 1 Gan, 1 Witch Apprentice. We can play Lesser Witches together. At the end of that, we go Quacks to pull out She Who Knows. Round two, what you're going to do is continue row stacking Melee Row. You're going to open up with Rat Catcheress. You're going to play Mamuna. You're going to play Self Eater. Um, and basically just play the rest of our cards out. And if you can 2-0, just go for it. And emphasize stacking your highest base power units, leaving enough row for them on the Melee Row. And be careful how you're clicking Self Eater so there's enough room that you can play units with a good power melee. And what we want to do is play leader ability onto melee row as well for Triss um, to boost up. And basically, as the round closes down, what you're going to do is just fall back on utilizing crones. Make sure you prioritize your engine value early on into the round. And your final plays would really just come down to like Heat Wave. And then let's say your final play is going to be like Triss Meteor Shower, playing her ranged to boost your entire melee row. And if you've got a lot of relics there, it's it's a ton of points and usually you 2 the opponent. So I hope you enjoy the following matches and thank you for your time and support. Another control, yep. Used to be a happy faction. It's not happy anymore. Always the happy one. Hey, you are what you eat. There's <laughs> Blood Eagle in there. Play one of these. I love you, control like you. Twirl a bat and tongue of dog.
was hoping to get iced. Still pretty good though, isn't it? I mean, they use that to replay this in this kind of a build. Goes for the damage on it. Not bad. Probably try to two oh. Incubus to bring back Piggy. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? What's the decree for then? It's only a two. Doesn't feel that good playing that here. We probably will end up playing it. Siana mean meme combo. I think I did it with a hand buff deck. I've also done it with Karanthi AQ. Yeah. Aglace, yeah. That's what I've done before. Really? Just kill pig, isn't it? Exactly what I hope. Probably. That's what we want to see, Dozen. <laughs> we 
We're happy about it. You can kiss my tail goodbye. I mean, we have we have resilience carryover. Melitris. I think maybe is it at this point? Looks close. I'm not sure if I should do it. Maybe I'm going like this. This way, our damaged units will be healed and we get the resilience carryover. <laughs> Your skull will make a fine tanker. This is gonna be huge. <laughs> I like that because these are gonna be healed now. This is gonna be 13 point carryover. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like that, that move better. And then we've got Crone. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, true. Well... You got she who knows all that, they have to attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not passing there. <laughs> Inspired zeal. Hmm. Siege? Could it be? Again and again and again. A little drummer. Oh. Semper Fi! Death to the enemy! Oh my goodness. You really, you don't like it? <laughs> yeah what's up leon how are you thanks for your first time chat good to see you here bloody not humans full test yeah And how 
Oh yeah, we know what's gonna happen here. They're gonna play um the one that copies. Oh wow. Has the lock. <laughs> Here we go. What if we go offensive, Triss? Right. Rip carryover. <laughs> yeah. Moon is just pulling me uh, piggy right now. That's it. No, I got it here. Not much, really. Not not in a good spot um, with the setup. Ballista. <laughs> That's great. That's exactly what we need right now. Really bad uh, hand, I think. You're one sexy witch, and I'm here to please. What's that at four, five? Bring him back an engine. Bring him back a commando. Army's a waste of time for me like me. We will have to lead on and go can. Because I don't really have much here. Tameria has yet to speak its last. Nice. Get the Sabbath to play this. They're going to come out now. Yeah, playing relics. Good to see you. Triss relic stack. Here they come, I think. Yep. Death to the enemy. Left it at eight. 
Yo, what's up, Onyx? How are you? Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. What deck are you building right now? Reinforcements. <laughs> I think they're getting a bit desperate. I think we did good. Heat waving that. What? Shit, I knew it. I told you so, you idiot. Couldn't touch the hair on my head, she said. Nice. So, what do you guys think? Maybe it was a misplay from them. Like, they shouldn't have done that. They should have just used it with Lita. Double self eaters. Man. Ah, oh, crap. Wax. Just give me that. Probably it's the way to go about it, I don't know. So what can I really pull? It's just Incubus. Probably has to go, yeah. Wow, I renew the Pavetta. That's the kind of play they're going for, right? Okay. We got another one, it's alright. Four damage. Wow. Imagine if they don't use that now and we kill it. <laughs> Surely they use it, right? With leader? Nice mess you've got here. Yeah. Oh, crap. Actually made it a bit awkward to play um quacks with her now because it's she who knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you didn't like that, eh? And Vigo too got changed. Nah, I haven't. What do you think about it?
I think Spores plays pretty good in this matchup. I don't mind playing this now, round one, because I don't have Shi Who Knows. Point generator battle. <laughs> battle of greed. They had Renfrey. Who you mean like my list? This one I'm playing right now with Renfrey in it. Yeah, right. Don't leave me here. Not alone. I'll be here. Hmm, it's getting a bit awkward for us, isn't it? Tempering. Well, the climbing. Or oh, passing on even. I think we can still go with this. Pretty good value when we play them together. Nice to win uh, round one with. So this plays for 10, 11, 12. Well, it goes for council. Really? I really have a dwarf in there. Never had your kneecaps broken. We don't have to roast stack anymore. Pretty tight first round. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Ash. Missed their Saskia. Symbiosis with Saskia. Okay. Yurden. <laughs> Maybe I should trade Heatwave for Yurden. Ah. <laughs> uh. Nah, I think I just passed, man. I don't really see them um, play Saskia in a symbiosis list like this. I don't know. Have you guys seen that, really? Oh, Dwarf makes you think that? Yeah, I guess that's a bit of an interesting ad, isn't it? 
those quacks. But we got Tristan there. They're going for it. Could go that way. Maybe worth it. Because of symbiosis. That's it. Yeah, hundred percent will be a gamble. I d I don't play it, Dozen. Unless Triss is in my hand, I don't play it. I'll just play it ranged or something like that. It's way too risky for us. We're using this to pull that. Um. Well, it's gonna have some relic synergy for me still. But we want to find Triss. Wow. What can you do? <laughs> Should I just hit it anyway now? Hold on, what have they played? Should I hit it melee row? I will play this first, maybe. It could die to rebuke at five. Time to RNG. Maybe we save it for self eater synergy. Base power boost, cause relic. Human messenger. Let us answer without O's. Uh, would they have Gord in there? Maybe they use some something to search for Gord, and we pull it with this. Could play it a bit later. What else are we pulling? Uh, get another self eater. So it's either gonna be this. Oh, that is it. That's at four. Is that five? That's only four. Let's do this first. Yeah. They'd play it last anyway, so we can wait. They wouldn't play it early. Oh, so they bricked um, Simlas. Potentially. Hopefully our engine carries here. Because they don't have a way to answer that. So I'm not clicking this anymore then. We we want to pull she who knows with this. I mean, I guess we can do it now. Just don't give me Triss.
I did not expect Gezras. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just set them up. <laughs> we have Heat Wave. Yeah, I didn't expect that. You you can do Gezras in these lists. I was thinking Gord. We can still Heat Wave. It's okay, don't worry. Good, they even put leader in it. Yeah, it's good. It's not adrenaline yet. It's alright. It's alright, my friends. All is well. Magic has it under control, don't worry. We Gucci. <laughs> exactly. Elder Bear has entered the chat. <laughs> no worries. Sins of the flesh are my speciality. Riptress, yeah. So we don't have to worry about neutral cards because this is devotion. Okay, I think Piggy really carried us, man. Fortunately, I had Heat Wave to answer Gezras. That could have been devastating. Oh! Yes! <laughs> hey, we um, we got a bit of luck too, you know. I gave them Gezras, they gave me um some use of my ale. <laughs> oh crap! Yeah, they could have done that, I know. Yeah, we got it. Come on! No. <laughs> no! 